Hello, kindred spirits. I thought I would share some of the things I like to do before fall arrives in my home, my gardens, and for myself. As a self-proclaimed introvert, I love to seek solitude, especially when I know the next two seasons will be busy due to the holidays. I'm in between doctor's appointments. I have 90 minutes. I grabbed a blanket and a book, and I'm gonna to try to find some shade here in a park that's close to us. The leaves are all soon going to be gone and New England is known for the beautiful fall and foliage, but right now I need to take advantage of the shade it's going to provide me since it is 90 degrees right now. I'm always envious of those who can read so many books one after another, but I'm not much of a book reader due to my dyslexia, but when I do, I find a good book and I love its ability to transport me to another time or I love when it could help me with my current life goals. I make sure I allow myself time to head into the yard and see what's ripe for picking. What I thought were odd looking raspberries without their fuzz are actually wine berries and quite delicious. I quickly collect them before the birds get to eat them. I like to stop at local farm stands, not only to support our local farmers, but to take in the surroundings they've created for us. I also enjoy the seasonal fruits and vegetables, and I like to purchase sunflowers for our home. Here's a little fun fact. Peaches were brought to New England from England, but John Smith noted them in Jamestown, Virginia as early as 1629. Once I'm home with my farm stand treasures, I put the fruit away, the vegetables away, and then I take the sunflowers I just purchased, I give them a fresh cut on the stems, place them in water, and then they could put center stage in the kitchen. I'm in and out of the kitchen so often. I love enjoying their beautiful color. It reminds me that August is almost over and autumn will be here. I also find myself redecorating my shelves, knowing they will soon be changed again for fall, but I put more of a neutral tone with my blacks and whites, and I love to mix my thrift store finds with heirlooms from our family. I'm constantly collecting fresh herbs from the garden to cook with. Any that are left over I place in some containers of water throughout the kitchen and if I'm a little lazy and don't want to go to the garden or if the weather's bad I just harvest them from my kitchen. August is also the time I start making a list of herbs and spices that I'm low on. I'd like to prepare for fall and winter recipes. On this day, I'm organizing them too. I figured it was a good time to make sure that this little container fit in my cabinet before I filled it with my herbs and spices. Now I know it's too early to decorate for Halloween, but I love to pull out ghost story books that I have, and this one was actually loaned to me by my mother. And I like to read and get a little inspired and think about 
how am I going to decorate this year? Now, for those of you who grow mums and don't know this little trick, in order to get them nice and thick and bushy, you need to pinch them back. And it's also helpful when you want to shape them in round shapes. These are perennials that I searched out. So they come up every year for me. And then I add the annual mums all over the steps and the walkway. Every year, I mean, every year I keep saying I'm going to plant less tomatoes. I always have an abundance. But this year, just like the last year, the tomatoes keep reseeding themselves. So I have so many small cherry tomatoes and the larger ones. And I do bring them inside a lot of times to ripen them on the counter or my windowsill. If I want them to ripen a little bit faster, I put them in a brown paper bag. I have no idea why that works, but it does. You may have seen in one of my past YouTube videos the drying shed I created to put my herbs in. Well, now in August, I really start collecting because they start to pass. Some go into September wonderfully, but I want to make sure. I'm making items this year such as herbed salts, which I will share the recipe here on my YouTube channel very soon and on my blog. And then I also like to take my basil once again. A lot of it is hanging in the drying shed but I'm also making a batch of pesto. Some of it I did use for uh, a meal that evening, and then I also froze some for future meals that you can put into stock pots or on pizza, however you want to use it. And for the first time ever, I'm making smudging sticks. Now, I made my smudging sticks with a lot of different mix of herbs. Some might just use sage if they're doing cleansing. Um, I don't know the whole background of them. I'm going to be learning a little bit more and sharing if anybody is interested. But I thought this would be a fun project since I have, once again, an abundance of herbs. Now on this particular evening, my husband was on a business trip and I thought I would go out to the backyard and enjoy the sun setting and also it's getting to be known for meteor shower time but unfortunately the mosquitoes were pretty bad so I had a little glass of wine with me that I thought I would just try to sip and enjoy but um, it did not last long at all. I did get chased inside. Cheers. Something you don't know about me, I do love astronomy, I love archaeology, but I'm also somewhat of a weather geek, and I'm guessing this is due to my father being somewhat of a weatherman in the Air Force. He really taught me about clouds and why sunsets are brighter on some evenings, and just really how to read the weather, and I love in August how the storms really come in. Now, I don't like when they get severe. This happens to be just a tropical storm, but I did enjoy watching. No. Did Mama lock you in by accident? Were you in the garden? I didn't see you? Oh no. Horrible mother.